Right. Hi friends, in this video I'll show you how to install SQL Server 2017 using a command. Okay, so in the last videos we have already discussed how to install SQL Server using GUI mode. Now we are going to use command, just a single command. By using that single command we are going to install SQL Server okay, on Windows Server 2012. Okay. So the command is also ready. You can see this is our command to install your SQL Server 2017. So just copy this command. I'm going to paste this command in the description of this video. You can find the command below to this video. Okay. So let me go to the Oracle Virtual Machine. So this is our Oracle Virtual Machine VM Server Windows 2012 connected remotely. And before pasting this command you have to make sure okay whether your sql server 2017 software is attached or not okay i just attached my software sql server 2017 software in the d drive i just attached my sql server 2017 iso image in the d drive you can copy the sql server 2017 software or else you can attach ISO image also. Okay, so now you can see in the D drive, my SQL Server 2017 software is attached. If you just copy it to any of the drive, like C drive, E drive, any of the drive, if you copied the software, your command is also going to change. Okay, I'll show you. Let me paste it in the notepad. Let me paste the command in the notepad. This is our command, right? So as my software is there in the D drive, so here you can see D there, D is there. If your software is there in the C drive, E drive, F drive, wherever you just copied, make sure you are giving proper path here. Okay. So now I'm giving D drive Y. I just attached my SQL server in the D drive. Okay. So my SQL server software is attached as a D drive. So that's why I'm giving an, if you go inside this D drive, you can see set up file for SQL server. So I'm just calling the same set up file under D set up file. And these are the parameters actions equal to we are going to install SQL server and slash QS means quite simple. And you can see instance name. And this is my instance name. I have already installed an instance with this instance name. So what I'm going to do is SQL 2017, okay. Let me test SQL 2017 test UTD. This type of installation is called unattended installation. UTD means unattended installation. Unattended installation means installing SQL Server using command is called unattended installation, okay. And I'm going to install these features SQL engine, replication, full text, connections, connectivity, backward compatibility, SDK. These are the features. Even though if these features, some of them are shared features, if these features are already existed, no need to remove these components. If existed, it is going to skip these components. If not existed, it is going to install the components. Okay. And remaining service account for SQL server, service account for uh, full text and service account for your agent. So this is the one service account for your agent, okay? You can see this command and make sure you are just keeping this command in a single line, okay? Again, go for word wrap. Okay, so if not, do one thing, okay? Keep the command in a single line. Okay. Let me keep it in a single line and make sure nothing is missing. Okay, so if something is missing again, it will be difficult to troubleshoot. Yes, okay. Now you can see command is in single line d setup.exe actions equal to install quite simple and instance name is this one. Okay, and features I'm going to install these features, even though some of the features are already existed, no need to remove any features from this list simply if existed those features are going to be skipped and these are the service accounts for sql server these are the service account details default service account it is going to say it is going to take 
NT authority system, and this is the service account for agent and service account for full text. And uh, here you can see it is taking default service accounts. After successful installation, you can change the service account, okay, customized service account. And of course, we have to provide the collation settings, SQL collation, and SQL by default collation settings are SQL Latin one general CP1 CIS, right? And you have to provide one account, guys. This is very important. You have to provide one account, okay. This is my account. Once SQL Server installation is successfully completed, one account should be there to log into the SQL Server. So this account, SQL Service Admin Accounts, is going to help us to log into the SQL Server. If you have an access to SQL Server with Service Admin privileges, later you can create multiple logins. You can add other people also by just creating them logins for them. So make sure at least one account is being added. And here you can see that this is the account name administrator. Actually, this part, which you can see, this part is a computer name. So change your command as per the computer name. If your computer name is like, you can find the host name, right? In the command prompt, you can simply find the host name. And whatever your computer name is there, change it as per your computer name. Change this name as per your computer name. Don't execute the same command. Change this name as per your computer name. Then only it will be succeeded. Otherwise, the installation will be failed, okay? And here you can see, uh, change this name again. And of course, at the end, you have to mention, I accept SQL Server license terms, okay? This is a single command. Just copy it, Control A, Control C, and make sure you opened your command prompt with run as administrator, okay? Open the command prompt with run as administrator. Okay, right click run as administrator right okay so what you can do first the cursor is showing in the c drive administrator folder right so what you can do just go to your d drive okay cd sorry okay or i'll simply type d okay so that so that you will get the d d prompt okay so now we have entered into the D drive. My software is there in the D drive, right? So copy paste the whole command from that notepad to here. And again, make sure guys, computer name, you just change the computer name in the command. This is the one. Remaining everything you can install. You can, you can just copy paste the command and you can, uh, no need to change it. You can simply install, okay? But the only thing you have to change is this computer name, okay? So make sure you change the computer name. So, and again, keep the whole command in a single line, then copy to this, okay, copy to the command prompt and start installing, you can hit enter, okay, so the beauty of the unattended installation, okay, so it is showing access is denied, right, so for that, what we can do, we have opened using an administrator, right, oh, okay, done, okay, so let me show you, we have an issue here. So here you can see DD, two times it was copied, right? Go to, just press home button, it will go to the D drive. Remove this D, okay? Remove this D, one D, you just remove one D. Okay, so you can see now, D, just D colon setup.exe, right? Now just hit enter, that's it, okay? Your installation will start now, okay? So no need to give any inputs, everything, we have provided in the command itself. Automatically, it will take all the parameters from your command and it is going to install the SQL Server. Okay. It won't take much time. Hardly it will take uh, five minutes. Okay. Five to 10 minutes. So in this way, you can install SQL Server. Okay. So you can see the installation will begin in a minute and then it is going to continue. Right, installation is started. You can see, actually, this is the last screen after giving all the parameters. Once you click on install button in the GUI mode, then you can see the screen. But now if you see, there is no checks and all directly it went to the last screen. So this is how you can install the SQL Server, okay, using this command prompt. So I'm going to paste this command. 
okay in the youtube description my video description you can find this command under this video and you can use this command as well to install sql set 2017 but 2019 also same again there is no different different commands you can use same command for 2019 sql set 2019 also okay i'm going to skip this uh, installation process and i'll show you the success screen after completing this installation and the installation is successfully completed you can see and again in the gui you can see the successful screen at the end of the installation but in the command prompt you cannot see the success screen okay so the thing is after successful installation your command prompt will return your d drive whatever drive you gave earlier so it is going to return back to its original state so this is one way of checking whether your installation succeeded or not if there is an issue some errors will be there in the command prompt itself you can see those errors also and you can also check whether your sql server is installed or not you can also check from your services.msc there you can see an extra sql server copy okay let me show you that as well and just press yes and we just installed this one okay sql server SQL 2017 test UTD. Okay, this is the instance we have installed. And if you have any questions, let me connect to this instance using Management Studio as well. So let me connect to the instance let me go to browse for more and you can see all the instances installed here this is our instance test utd click ok and connect right in this way you can connect to the sql server instance also that's it guys thank you for watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel i'm going to upload a lot of videos like this thank you all